Khmer Rouge leaders invited the Ottawa man to bring medical supplies to thousands of Cambodians. Newsline's Neil Herlin now with exclusive pictures of Khmer Rouge headquarters and one man's journey to save lives. The pictures you're looking at have never been seen by most Westerners. Welcome to Penang Malai, headquarters of Cambodia's Khmer Rouge. Cambodia has been under siege since 1975, when Khmer Rouge guerrilla forces took control of the South Asian country. Massive food shortages followed, and so did the killing fields. In 1989, a young girl named Ratanak was featured in a British documentary on Cambodia. Ratanak died because she lacked the most basic medical treatment. After viewing the film, this Ottawa native was so upset, he started a medical relief organization and named it after Ratanak. I guess I'm one of those kids who went through high school. I was dyslexic and uh, I got kicked around school a lot. And I was sort of the underdog in many things. And uh, since then, I've always developed a, a real heart for the underdog. And when I encountered Cambodia, I found an entire country of underdogs. He brought x-ray machines and bandages. Later, he set up a network of clinics. Khmer Rouge forces were ready to kill members of his group. But over time, their attitudes changed. Basically, they had been watching the medical work we had been doing for years and had gained kind of a grudging uh, respect for what we do. Last month, McConaughey was invited to Penang Malai, the Khmer Rouge camp run by the man known as Brother Number Two, Pol Pot's brother-in-law. We met with uh, a general, actually stayed with a Khmer Rouge general in his home, um, and then would have meetings with various officials uh, of the Khmer Rouge, negotiating where we could put clinics. They slept alongside soldiers who committed genocide, but politics were set aside. The relief mission was too vital to jeopardize. Neil Herland, CJOH News. Later on his line, trying to resolve the bitter U.S.-Canada salmon war. Just ahead now, housing hell. The Ottawa